Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Brian Duggan, and it's been my pleasure and privilege to direct President Shivani in a number of video productions here on campus over the years. Perhaps the most memorable were the campus holiday movies, which were staff productions and parodies of major motion picture films. President Shivani, this is the last time I get to direct you in a motion picture. So I'd like you to sit back, relax, turn off your cell phone, open up a box of popcorn, and enjoy this tribute memento. Jerry, would you roll it, please? A few years ago, President Shervani was attending a Santa Claus basketball game on campus, and uh, it was one against one of our rivals, and uh, it was one of those games where uh, there were calls going against Santa Claus. It seemed like every call was going against us, and uh, the crowd started noticing it, and uh, the athletes uh, started to notice it, and it really affected their game. And President Shervani, in attendance, was sitting in the front row in the VIP section, um, also took notice of, of some of the bad calls, and uh, there was a few minutes left in the game. It was a really close game, and the referee made yet another bad call. President Shervani jumps up from his seat, charges onto the court, gets in the referee's face, and starts uh, blasting him for his, his calls. And this really energized the crowd, energized the students, uh, got the athletes back in the game. They went back on the court, got the ball, uh, made the shot, sent the game in the overtime. President Shervani was uh, given a lot of credit for the performance that night, and he was given uh, the game ball um, as a result of what he had done and encouraged the students to go on. And really, I think that story is uh, sort of representative of how President Shervani is able to inspire students um, when you least expect it. I remember my freshman year here, uh, he had come down during halftime and he had shaken every one of my teammates' hands. And I mean, that, that really grew on me, the fact that the president was willing to do something like that at our school. He came in the summer and I had a number of meetings and interactions with him, but my favorite event was when he showed up the very first day of classes in fall in the Liberal Studies Department office. At the time when we had quite a number of students there with questions about first day advising, uh, what classes they should choose, and in walked the president, not in a suit coat and a tie, with his sleeves rolled up like just another person down the hallway. And I was with students, jumped up, wanted to attend to the president's needs, like welcome to the Liberal Studies Department, President Chervani, how wonderful to have you here on this first day of classes. He was interested in meeting the students, meeting the faculty. He wasn't interested necessarily in talking to me, but wanted to be assured that all of the students were being accommodated, their questions were being answered, they were being helped out. I'm here in the Warrior Fitness Center because I believe this is going to be a lasting legacy that the president created and gave to the students and something students will be able to enjoy for generations to come. It's a facility we didn't have in the fitness center and the wonderful arena that goes with it is something that I think marks the campus and brought it into the 21st century. And as I think about some of the things that the president has done for the campus, I go back to my first meeting with the president and I think it was in his first couple of weeks here on campus. I was in my office in Mary Stewart Rogers building. It's a large suite. We have three programs in there and several employees. And all reported to me I was the manager in the suite. And I heard some commotion outside one morning and I got up to go see what was going on. And I noticed that the president was there. Somebody said, the president's in the suite. And I all excited thinking the president was coming to meet with me. And that was a really exciting thing. He'd only been there a couple of weeks. And as I walked into the suite, I noticed that he was saying hello to all of our administrative staff. And uh, before I got a chance to actually approach him and say good morning, he invited all the administrative staff to go out to lunch. He said, let's all go to lunch right now. And I, I stopped for a minute because I thought, oh, is he taking us all to lunch? And then I realized he wasn't inviting me to lunch. And as the administrative staff was walking out the door with him, one of them said, well, who's going to watch the office? And the president turned to me, and the very first thing he ever said to me personally was, you won't mind watching the phones, will you? And what do you say to the president when he says that? So I stayed and I watched the phones while he took all the staff to lunch. So I never got to thank the president for that. So I want to thank him for that. Hi. They asked me to say a few words about President Trevani. I was very excited. 
I'm a little afraid he's not going to recognize me because he always gives me grief about the clothing I wear. So anyway, uh, President Shravani has been a real visionary here on this campus, and I'm just doing this so that he can better recognize who's talking to him. Uh, he's been a great supporter of the arts, and we really appreciate that support, and we're going to miss that. I want you to know I do have a farm in uh, Fargo, North Dakota, so I will be close to you. I wish you the best of luck. Congratulations on this new opportunity for you. President Shervani is a student forward president and he shows that on many occasions in attending our retreats and our events and our meetings and really making sure he had uh, the right temperature on student opinions, uh, especially of those of the leaders. And every semester we would go to his house and Fathi would host us uh, not only a home cooked meal but uh, a feast that we would get to know them on a personal level and uh, he would be able to listen to all of our concerns and, and issues that were, were coming up and really get a handle on what students are thinking and feeling and what were the hot topics. And I think that's something most presidents rarely do, uh, connect with students on such a personal and intimate level that actually shows that he's not just a president, he's a human being and a caring individual. At the very first meeting of the foundation, uh, Dr. Shervani kind of laid out what his plan was, what his priorities were, what his vision was. Um, if I had to use one word to describe him, it would be a man of vision. He had a very clear idea of where he wanted the university to go, both architecturally, visually, academically, um, Absolutely, growth-wise, absolutely. He, it was like he arrived with a full plan. Uh, sometimes he was a little bit controversial, but I respected his goals and his plan tremendously. Uh, I think he's done wonderful things for the university. Keep in mind he's a very charming person. He really is. Uh, you get close to him, you see that charm, you see that genuine, sincere interest in you. Uh, he's quick, so you have to be quick with him. He's a thinker, so you have to think with him. He's a doer, so you have to do things with him. He is the president. And he set the stage for what happens. And he did that very well. So I, I see the logo uh, right from right from the time that he arrived on campus. He he moved to have something done that was a little more artistic and captured a little more of the spirit of a university. Um, obviously, he uh, was able to get some attention from uh, the Princeton Review uh, brought to this university, especially with regard to uh, its efforts at teaching uh, Hispanic students and to get it recognized uh, for what the faculty and staff and everyone here feels is a, a, a part of a unique mission uh, that I think has done quite well. I believe one of uh, President Shervani's major contributions to, the, to this campus was his dedication to staff and his dedication to create avenues to receive input from all the major groups on campus. Uh, I know that would be pretty tough to be able to, to to make the, make the decisions that he's had to make with limited access to this information. So again, I, I believe his avenues that he's created, uh, again, regarding staff to be able to give input for him to be able to make the tough decisions that he has to make each and every day. As President Shimani's director, we worked together on a number of productions from his interviews with community leaders in the program Dialogue, which aired on television, to special events on campus and the holiday movies. Uh, we did productions such as Raiders of the Lost Ark, Return of the Godfather, and most recently, The Spy Who Came In From the Pond. And in that film, he wanted to be the head of a spy organization on campus. So we created the fictional Covert Food Services for him to be the head of the agency. And I told him that if he was going to do that, he had to wear a black turtleneck and an eye patch. And he looked at me and said, whatever you say. And the staff got a great kick out of the fact that he was willing to step outside of his role as president and be playful as an actor in the staff production that was shown at the campus Christmas party. Bond, go to mom's tonight. Your contact will be there and we'll have all the information you need. 
It's been a pleasure to, to know both President Shravani and Fati. They have hosted a number of uh, dinners at their home for various faculty and administrators throughout the years they've been here. He certainly, they have both, both been gracious hosts. Um, I've been fortunate to be invited to events such as the Jane Vilas uh, birthday party, and that was a lovely event done in, in honor of her birthday and of her many contributions to the university. So President Shivani uh, is, certainly has been uh, a supporter of the arts in, in many ways, and we're very grateful for that. I think what I appreciate most about President Shivani is his worldview. He was raised uh, until his early teens in another country, and then he was educated in Great Britain. He went to Princeton. He is a race car driver. He's an architect. He brings this knowledge and this this great expanse of experience to our community, to the college, and affects everybody with it. He's got a great personality and that he's really driven to uh, strive for things that people don't even think about sometimes. And in education, I think one uh, downfall of edu educators is that our educators become our administrators and they're all kind of in the same path. And it's unusual to get somebody with a the breadth of information that he has, the experiences. I think that makes a big difference. But probably the other one was his determination uh, to move the agriculture science, uh, uh, not only in the area of, of uh, agriculture science, but in food technology and his uh, willingness and his spirit to uh, drive forth the uh, food technology uh, science program in collaboration with Oregon State University and with uh, the different uh, industries like Hillmar Cheese and uh, Gallo and Foster Farms and Gimperleys and Swanson's and it goes on from there. Uh, magnificent way that he was willing, really the person that I see carried uh, and continues to carry the ball is an uh, absolutely ph phenomenal person. I truly believe we are the Harvard of the Central Valley. And I believe, believe President Shervani had made a great contribution to make it that way. I really do. Well, we're, we're standing here in, in our fantastic locker room in, our, in a great stadium. And uh, that's directly attributed to uh, President Shervani's hard work. And uh, we wouldn't be here today and have this facility and a conference championship if it wasn't for him caring about athletics and women's athletics and women's soccer. And so we were very fortunate uh, to, to be here and to have such a great um, experience to offer our student athletes and our students on this campus because he cared about student life, he cared about athletics, and he cared about the student experience here at, at Cal State Stanislaus. Um, well, Fatih has helped me a lot here at Stanislaus. My freshman year, I came in with a couple injuries and she helped me out and treated me so I can be 100% to play. And I would like to thank her on behalf of myself and all of the athletes here at Stanislaus for working with us and taking time out to help us do physical therapy with us and recover us so we can all be 100% to compete and play the best that we can play. So thank you Fati for everything you've done. Oh Fati, absolutely magnificent, uh, charming, uh, she's one of the most loving, honoring people. Uh, she's been a force behind him and behind the university that uh, few have recognized as I firmly believe it should be. My working relationship with President Shervani was uh, based on mutual trust. Uh, a lot of times I had to bring him issues that were not really feel good issues or issues that people don't like to talk about and uh, sometimes it got a little combative because there was disagreements but in the end uh, I knew where I stood with him and we were able to work through problems that were related to the people working here at this university. Three and a half years ago I was in the Division I scene, 17-year veteran of Division I soccer and to come down here I had to be sold on a vision and, and you gave me the vision for where you wanted to see athletics move to. And that vision was 
utilizing the Assyrian population, the Indian population, the Portuguese population, the Hispanic population, and uh, I see that ordinary is not what we can be here. We have to be extraordinary, and you've shown that to me. I look at the facilities, and they're first rate. I've seen some of the best facilities in the country, Division I facilities. I will take this facility over UCLA, the Stanford's of the world. I now have 17 first generation students and they are part of those classes that are really making a difference. Fadi, thank you for that first year when you worked with my team. Oh, it was amazing and you had such a profound effect on uh, all of our players and I wish you both the very, very best in your future. Thank you. He, he has so much to be proud of and uh, along with Fathi, uh, they made a great team and I enjoyed knowing them. I enjoyed hopefully being their friend. That's what I consider myself to be. And I loved being president of the foundation during his tenure. So I, I think looking back that uh, there are a number of things that he did that uh, we'll be looking back and saying, uh, thank you for having done that. He was a good steward in that way. If I had to describe uh, President Shivani in one word, I, well, you know, I think uh, one word is just not going to do it. And um, I think about, well, because of course I'm very familiar with his background, I think about structure, I think about foundation, foundations, I think about the landscape. You know, these are, uh, these are I think, words that uh, resonate, will resonate with him. But I, but I can see, for me, when I think of, uh, of him in certain contexts, those words work for me. So, and also in composition, you know, so we're talking about, uh, of course, I'm, 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 making, I'm making these connections to the built environment and design, uh, and, and I, I know he'll appreciate that, but I think I mean that in a very positive way. So um, composition, structure, uh, you know, all the things that go into buildings and things that are essential, you know, uh, things that we have to navigate in life. So these are, I think, strong words and, and uh, are reflected in, in, in his makeup. One word to describe Ham Shervani? Surprising, without question, surprising. If I could describe President Shivani in one word, I would say dynamic. Enthusiastic. I would say generous. I would describe President Shivani as being caring. That would have to be tenacious. Perfectionist. Successful. Dynamic would be the word. Dynamic leader, I think maybe that's two, three words. Champion. Vision. Visionary. Visionary. Visionary is the word, among many other good words. When we nominated President Shervani for the President of the Year Award, a lot of us at Stanislaus felt really guilty about doing it because we all knew that everyone in the student government chamber were going to vote for President Shervani. President Shervani was the type of president that would always go to our meetings and really fire up the students, get them engaged. Uh, he took students with him to Washington, D.C., took students with him to Sacramento uh, to lobby lawmakers uh, on student issues. And President Shervani was really committed to the causes of students, and I think that's why he was selected uh, twice to receive the award uh, President of the Year. He always has students' best interest in mind. Always. And, you know, it never does it cease to amaze me when you, when you talk to students after the fact, after I've left, that go, yes, he is approachable and available and, and truly listens to what the students want and sometimes makes difficult decisions that are not popular because they're the right decision for students.